Hi, I'm Dr. K. Srikanth, Senior Surgical Oncologist, HOD and Clinical Director and Robotic Surgeon at Eshwada Hospitals, Samajiguda, Hyderabad, India. H. pylori, which is called as Helicobacter pylori, it's a small spiral bacterium detected long back, branded as a carcinogenic agent, which is responsible for development of stomach cancer, intestinal cancer. So this bacterium is prevalent everywhere and it infects most of the individuals. It gets infected or it gets entry into the body through contaminated food or contaminated water or contaminated saliva or contaminated feces. This bacterium once gets into the intestine, it usually lodges itself in the stomach mucosal folds and it slowly divides, multiplies, stays there and initiates inflammation of the gastric mucosa. Slowly with time, it forms an ulcer, which is called as a peptic ulcer, either it is seen in the stomach or in the duodenum, and it gradually leads to a type of condition called as non-atrophic and then atrophic gastritis. This atrophic gastritis is nothing but suppression of the normal gastric or intestinal cells and its production of the mucus. So because of the atrophic gastritis or the infection of the Helicobacter pylori. Usually, most of the individuals who are infected with this H. pylori does not show any types of symptoms. That is the main problem why many people cannot detect this bacterium at an early stage. The common symptoms which we see at a later stage are a feeling of nausea, excessive burping or belching, and excessive gas formation or early satiety taking small quantity of food, they feel it is full and very rarely passing off black stools or vomit. So this happens in later stages. So these are the common symptoms and most of them are ignored because they are normal. When these symptoms persist, I think it's very important to meet a doctor where they do an endoscopy and then take a biopsy and confirm that this bacterium is present in the stomach by a rapid urease test or rut test. Once that bacterium is confirmed, treatment for this is a combination of four medication, an antibiotic acid suppressant medication, which is standard, that has to be used for a fixed number of days, two weeks or sometimes three weeks, with, by which this bacterium can usually be eradicated. Most important is trying to avoid getting that bacterium into our body. Th that is by eating hygienic food, using hygienic water, and then hygienic hand wash before having food and especially hand wash after passing stool is very important before you know we do anything else. So this bacterium, the most important risk factor for this bacterium when it stays in the stomach for a long time is development of stomach cancer or intestinal cancer. So this bacterium slowly destroys the covering of the stomach mucosa which decreases the production of mucus or acid making the stomach mucosa dry. When the stomach mucosa become dry or atrophic, it is exposed to a lot of carcinogens in the food. So those people who have H. pylori infection and those who smoke and those who drink alcohol have a very high risk of developing gastric cancer. So what type of gastric cancer is commonly seen in this is intestinal type of gastric adenocarcinoma and very rarely sometimes a type of a, a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma which we call as maltoma which is mucosa associated lymphoid tissue. So these two cancers are generally treated by surgery. Most of the times cancers that arise because of H. pylori are usually treatable and curable provided they are detected in an early stage. Detecting the symptoms early, those people who have got excessive belching, burping, nausea and passing of black colored stools or those who lose weight unintentionally are candidates who should suspect that they are having infection with this H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori. Early treatment, avoidance of smoking alcohol and detection of this bacterium and treating this bacterium at an early stages, the prescribed medication can prevent or develop development of gastric cancer. So early detection can prevent development of a gastric cancer in those patients who get infected with Helicobacter pylori. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.